migraines. Right. Give it to me. We're about to get rid of it. Just letting you know. I need some help. First things first, we are going to do some stretches to assist with the tightness of the muscles because blood flow is incredible for getting rid of headaches and migraines. Sure then is. we're going to take you through three acupressure points that are really beneficial for migraines. And then we're going to show you how to use the acupressure hat to give these things an absolute mm. kick to the curve. Tell you what, it's amazing. Sound like a plan. Yes. All right, first things first, we're going to stretch the muscles of the neck at the front here. When we spend a lot of time on electronic devices, these muscles are contracting and we're staring down at our devices all the time. We're gonna get a good blood flow all the way up through here. Remember that sometimes stress and tension in our jaw can lead to headaches as well. So we need to get the blood flowing all the way up the front as well as the back of the body. So first things first, we're gonna lay our head back or tilt our head back straight which means we should feel a stretch along the muscles right at the front of the neck there that are designed literally to stare at your devices all day, every day. We hold our stretches for about 20 to 30 seconds each. Next, we're going to tilt our head to one side. So it's like a shoulder, ear to shoulder, and then rock our head back and it will stretch the opposite side. You'll feel it almost pulling under the chin here. Can you feel it? I can see Ooh, that muscle tight. Yep. And that will stretch through here to allow the blood to flow all the way up that left hand side and then we do the same thing we're not going to roll our neck around just bring your neck back to neutral tilt your head shoulder, ear to shoulder on the other side and then rest your head back and you'll feel it pull up the other side and hold that stretch for a good 20 seconds increasing the blood flow as we go Feels easy good. Like it's great, it. isn't it? Mm. It's not something that we do naturally. Nobody ever, unless you're staring up at something on the roof and you tend to move and look at it in a different orientation. It's a good stretch to do. The next one, if you don't mind turning around, we're yep. going to show you the stretches with M doing them from the back and I will do them from the front. Nearly made you fall off your chair and <laughs> just saying, I need you to bring closer to me, please. Okay. So what we're doing now is increasing the blood flow from the shoulders up and through to the neck. Often headaches come from here and the greater occipital nerve gets tight in these suboccipital muscles and we end up with a migraine that comes all the way down one side to the front of the head. So we need to release this. So first things first, we're going to do ear directly to shoulder so that we can stretch the muscles down the side, the trapezius muscle. Em hates grabbing a hold of her head, but I think <laughs> it's important. Get a hold of your head and gently pull across and you'll feel the stretch straight down the side of the muscle here. So straight across, hold for 20 seconds then very gently release and relax. It is important to not suddenly let your neck pop up. We don't wanna pinch anything in our neck and then do the same on the other side. So ear directly to the shoulder and we're working this muscle here down the side to be able to allow the blood to flow all the way up and through to that suboccipital area. Really good stretch to do. Now this next one's a little bit trickier. We're trying to get the muscle that's a little bit more midline to that trapezius muscle, which is here. This one actually elevates our scapula. It's called levator scapulae, pretty similar to the word elevating your scapula. What we need to do is we need to move our nose to one side, so direct rotation, and then take the same little hand and give the neck a good pull down towards the knee if you're sitting as M is pulling and you can manipulate your neck off to the other side and feel a stretch that goes all the way down so by moving where your nose is sitting bringing your nose towards me for example and doing it again down that way you'll feel it stretch in different fibers of this. So it's about moving the orientation of your nose while you're holding and then move, hold, and you'll find that you will stretch all through these muscles here at the back, which is key for being able to increase the blood flow up and to your head. Super, super important. Always make sure you do them on both sides. I know migraines are one-sided, but it is important to make sure that we get the blood flowing through to both sides. That's super, super important. Remember, whenever we do stretches like this, make sure you drink plenty of water because we're releasing lactic acid as we do the stretch. When you stretch, it elongates a muscle and kind of stops the blood flow, but then once you release that stretch, there's a massive flow of blood that goes in there and washes away all that lactic acid, super important. All right, let's move on to our three acupressure points. The first one we're gonna show you on both sides here is basically as you drop off the end of the skull there and lift up and underneath is gallbladder 20 point. This is really good if you're doing it yourself using your thumbs, hooking up and underneath that 
will give you good pressure. And as you can see, Em is just leaning her head back slightly so that the weight of her head is resting on her thumbs. It's a really good way to activate that. If someone else is around to be able to do that for you, they can use a pincer grip up and underneath that area. It's actually really relieving to help get rid of a migraine. Really, really, really good. Again, make sure you're doing both sides, even though you'll find that one side will be particularly relieving because of the side of the migraine. It is important to keep balance in that area. The next two, we need you to spin around, please, baby. It just feels good. I want to keep doing it. Well, you're more than welcome to once we're done. The next two points are on the front of our body. The first one is called yin tang and it's right in the eye. middle, third eye, exactly right. I like to use my thumb, and although you can't see here, I'm just leaning my elbow on my knee, and then just letting the weight of your head. You can do this without anyone knowing. Nobody knows that it's you're like getting you're rid resting. of a headache. You're like, oh my Lord, that person's given me you the- You can just say, I'm thinking. It's a very good thinking pose. <laughs> the weight of that works really, the weight of your head makes that work really well at being able to alleviate that. If you've got a headache, not just a migraine, but a headache as well, this point is actually really fantastic at being able to help eliminate that tension and pressure that you feel around your eyes, really good. Now the last one is really good for any type of pain. It's actually really good for your digestive system as well, just saying, but really good for headaches as well, is the large intestine four point in the web of your thumb and index finger. Don't pinch this one too hard. Em had this experience once at a massage therapist who burst a blood vessel under oh, there. Oh, that was awful. There's lots of different ways you can stimulate an acupressure point. A little bit of pressure, moving your finger in sort of circular motions. You can tap on the point. You can use a laser if you've got one. You can use one of the um, cupping, small cups on there. You can pump it up. They all stimulate the same, the same way. It just gives uh, that uni Union Valley, I think it's called, point uh, an exceptional ability to release Actually, what's going on. It feels good because it. you hold a lot of tension. You just don't realise when you Absolutely. So these points are focus, really like a good little mini massage for migraines. Yeah. Now, finally, we get a lot of questions on how do we use our acupressure hat. We're going to take you through how to put this on. It's a couple of simple steps to make this the most effective way. If you are someone who clenches your jaw, hang around to the end because it's not just about looking fantastic with putting it on. You actually need to add the little cheeks we call them. There's a couple of little acupressure points on some little cushions that go up and underneath the mat so that they can help to apply pressure onto your jaw, increasing blood flow. So whenever we are tense in any way, shape or form, whether it's our shoulders, or clenching our jaw, we need to increase blood flow. That's really, really important. So we make sure that we get those little cheeks in at the end to achieve that. This is awesome. So we use the Dr. Kez logo at the front on our forehead to start the process because we're wanting to be able to get those stress lines. You know when you scrunch your eyes like that, whether you've been staring at a computer screen or maybe you should have put your glasses on and you didn't kind of thing, so that we make sure that we're achieving that as well. So the first side, I always do my right side first. It goes on and, and it attaches to the Velcro at the back. Make sure I get it on straight. And then we put the second side on to attach and you end up with like little ears up here which i like to tuck in because i want to make sure that they're touching those points as well and then our strap comes down to apply the downward pressure that we require on the hat then makes it a little bit difficult to chat but that's okay looks amazing and then we velcro it to the pressure that feels comfortable for you if you've got a migraine one side of mine or left sided so i get this intense pain on the one side i get my hat on and then believe it or not it starts to spread to the other side you're thinking oh my god what is happening and then within minutes you start to feel it lift so it's like the increased blood flow forces the blood into the area that's blocked as well as right across the other side of your head and that pressure allows you to have that increased blood flow all the way now at the base here I'm not sure if you can see me here. There are spikes under here that are ideally Maybe. pressured when you've got a rolled up towel. So I lay down on the floor or on my bed with the rolled up, just a bath towel, underneath. So it's applying pressure here so that when I lie back, I can feel it increasing the blood flow of those muscles we just were stretching before to be able to make sure that you're getting good blood flow up into your head. Really important. Now, next, please. Oh. So when you're a jaw little... clencher, Extra. like I am I'm a sometimes clencher. when it gives me the willies. It comes with these. We place those, lift and place, don't scrape them across your face because that wouldn't be fun, right where your jaw muscles are. 
like so. It makes you look like a chipmunk that's got all his nuts for winter in his mouth at once. And then leave that on. Again, lay back with your head on the round rolled up towel to make sure that you're getting applied pressure here as well. You don't normally talk when you've got these in. It's not pleasant. You sound like you've got a mouthful of chewy. No, I possibly have. I've mean, got a whole bunch of food in my mouth. But I can honestly say from experience of when you've got a migraine, when you put this on, it just makes a world of difference. It does, 100%. Like so I can come out and actually participate in life. As much as we joke about how it looks, it doesn't matter how it looks. No, it doesn't. It's only I find only 10 minutes is all I will need to be able to get out and continue to do whatever I need to do. And if you're feeling a bit sluggish at 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, this is a great way to increase blood flow so that you're back on, like, sometimes I get my brain and my mouth and my, you know, I'm trying to write a blog and I can't get the words right. As soon as I put this on, within minutes of taking it off, I feel clearer. Everything seems to have opened up and I'm right on my game again, really good. So pretty simple to apply, pretty simple to use. And I've had some people say to me, well, how, how often do you need to use it? If you're a chronic migraine sufferer, I would advise that you do it a few times a week to just increase the blood flow, even if you don't actually have the migraine at the time, because it is important to be able to make sure that you increase blood flow over time. Also doubles as a brush, fantastic. <laughs> That's one of the things that I find is really important. The same as doing your stretching and the same as doing your acupressure points. You don't have to just wait until you get a migraine before you can enjoy the benefits of increasing your energy to these you acupressure points. You can actually points. use it to push on your acupressure points. You certainly can. other areas of your body. Brilliant. So <laughs> in short, I found that over time by using the hat when I had a migraine that the distance in between how often I would get the migraines got longer and longer and longer to the point that unless it's something really crazy for me like I have to be under an enormous amount of stress now to get a migraine whereas I was getting them multiple times a week before yes. so it really does make a big difference so good investment if you know somebody who suffers from migraines whether they're an occasional thing that just get them down at the time or particularly someone who has chronic migraines suggest this because otherwise they're loading themselves up potentially on all this pain medication um, and that's not good for their body at all. So it's a really good drug-free alternative to be able to help increase blood flow and to be able to help get rid of these awful migraines. So there's a few tips. Stretch up, don't forget to drink water, get onto your acupressure points, grab an acupressure hat if that's something that you suffer from and see yourself free of headaches and migraines so that you can get on and live the best version of yourself. Thanks for having us on your therapeutic journey.